Divas and Divos, it's me, just Londa. I just realized I have been talking to the camera and not recording. Okay, so. <laughs> In the love of Black History Month, I was going to, I was actually not going to buy anything from this brand any longer because I've noticed that they have not been um, having any collabs with us. So I was gonna buy anything. And you know, they for Black History Month, they had to come on through with a, a black influencer and my favorite makeup artist. And I'm talking about Makeup by Shayla collab with Morphe. Quick rant. Why is it that every time a <clears throat> cosmetic brand need a little bit of push for us, that's when they want to collab with us. Is it only foundations we're good for? Because you want to win us over? Like, I'm just saying. But because Makeup by Shayla, call it what you want. She is an Afro A. I want to support her. I also want to support Danessa, uh, Danessa Myricks. As soon as she come out with powder products, other than a highlighter product, I'm on it. She is such a cream queen. I just can't. Mm -mm. All my products that are cream, other than the contours, I forget about them. So I, I, I can't, I can't. I don't want to throw my money away. But also, I do want to try the Stay Woke Concealer from Uma Beauty. I got the color brown sugar t1 oh step two that's what that's i was like what's the two about so yeah this is it um so yeah let's go ahead and reel that beautiful baked bean footage all right so i've already kind of put my face on my base on my face because my face was feeling kind of funny so i went in with milk um hydro grip um also divas and divos Black owned. I got the Sponge DSM D Shop. So it's quite squishy, flat on one side and then rounded on the other. It reminds me a lot of the Real Technique sponge. So I do have that. I also have the brush that came with the um, foundation because Ulta was giving it out for free. It's the sit. Um, E60 free brush from Morphe but if you bought that whole collection that we talked about this was in there so yeah I think I want to start out I'm just going to go ahead and put some color on there okay so it is a bit orangey but that's okay because I've been using two concealers lately, so that's fine. I'm also gonna get a bit of Juvia's Place um, concealer number 16. Just to brighten it up because it is a bit peachy. So I'm just going to do a dot here, a dot here, maybe here and here. That's all. And I'm just going to bounce out everything. Leave that last. Hmm. 
It looks like it's lifting up. Definitely not this one. Now I will say it does look like it's lifting because you can see that big spot right there. So it could be the hydro grip. I don't know. So if it is the hydro grip, then I know better next time. That really left a, a spot right there. Like, look at that. You see the patchy? Okay, so I don't want to waste more of your time. Let me take this off and um, I'll do it on... Um, I won't use that primer. Okay. So I got every took everything off. I don't recall. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I've taken everything off and um, put everything back on. I actually just added um, the number six Juvia's plays at the top and at the bottom. So we're just going to do it again. So there's nothing on my face this time. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's way better. Cause I would have had a patch right there already. Oh yeah, that's much better. So that hydro grip and milk. It's a, it's a no. Okay. Boy, those two together is, is good. Okay. 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 Wow, they play together really nicely. I like, I like, I like, I like. Now I know for a fact that this is neutral. I did do a swatch on it. It is, it is neutral, okay? It actually, it, yeah, it's not neutral. It's, it's cool tone with the golden, um, yeah. It's cool tone with golden uh, bits in it. Something like that. Whatever it is, that's how I took it. <laughs> However, I'm going to color correct hair because I have a orangey cast here. So I'm just going to put that there just because I know it can be a bit orangey. I mean, it can be a bit gray there because I have a little bit of hypo pigmentation. So just a little bit, not much. So the color that I got is color Filter Rich 28. Like I said, it's, I believe it's like a cool tone with um, golden. So that's going to really match me. It's going to really match me. Matter of fact, I should have did that. I didn't even do it. Um, okay, so I have, what do I have nearby me? 
I have Fenty. So let's let's put a little Fenty on my hand here. So this is Fenty 420. The Morphe. Oh yeah. They look like identical twins. They look like identical twins. And this is the Uma. So the, this one is the first one is um 420 from Fenty, this is 28 from Morphe, and then this one is Uma Beauty T2N Neutral. I think we're I think we're in the right we're in the right category. So I don't think I I don't think I did anything wrong. I think I think we're gonna be good to go. This is, this is going to be great. I did not mix anything in here. This is all going to be um, Morphe. I will say it's not thin because I had been moving about and stuff and it didn't, um, it didn't budge. Now it's calling this medium for full coverage. Hmm. I must say, this is not bad. <laughs> I almost scared myself there. I did not set my under eye. Okay. This looks matte to me. My skin feels dry. Like the, it doesn't, like it looks dry. It looks powdery to me. Especially my forehead. And I'm not even like really looking right here. It's more like right here that I'm looking at. It does not look like skin to me, it looks like I have on makeup. So whatever they're telling you, maybe it's because I have dry skin, but if I'm not mistaken, the claims that's on here is that um, it's for every skin tone. I mean, for every skin type, so. Just saying. So I'm going to put on the rest of my face, throw the rest of my eye on, and then we'll talk about everything else. Because it, it looks dry. And it could be because I just took that stuff off. Um, but if I wash my face and my face dries down, just saying. So. All right, divas and divos, this is the finished look. So, 
if you want to see this look this look will be linked up there and down there um let's get into these main products okay so all my foundation colors i will have down at the bottom but for the most part chai is like almost my my, my um color match like to the exact along with Juvia's place gabon which is 310 which i should have um I should have incorporated that but I didn't have that out at the time and it's a hassle trying to get through everything so just what I had on the desk was the Fenty Beauty the Uma Beauty and I just compared those two foundations with the collaboration with um, makeup by Shayla rich 78 so I will say that I, at first, I didn't like it. Um, it looked it really, really dry, but if you look at my skin, it looks different. Let me tell you what I did. I did spray my face down with the Fenty Beauty, um, what is that, that dewy one, and then I pounced it in with my sponge, and that gave this a softer look, like it doesn't look dry or anything. And I will say my face is a bit irritated, but I think I'm breaking out, you know, that time of the month. So I think that's what's going on there. Um, only an hour or two has passed, and already I am cracking right in the middle of here yeah along my jawline i have um i'm i'm breaking out more so it could be that this is a bit more full coverage i don't know it could also be that i might need to moisturize on him because again my skin is dry they are saying if i'm not mistaken they are saying that where's the box here hold on let's see let's see how we doing this is a long wear, oil free, natural finish foundation, hydrate skin. No. Um, blurs imperfection. Maybe. A full ultimate soft focus look. Infused with hyaluronic acid. acid. Um, a, a, a skin smoothing moisture booster. Lies. Um, <laughs> vitamin E, glycerin, yeah, no. So I am not seeing a healthy glow at all. Um, let me say this, it looks much better because I did put that Fenty Beauty do stuff on there. Um, that's the only way I think it took down that powdery look. It had a dry, I don't even want to say powdery, it looked it really dry, like, you saw what it looked like when I came up so you can see that but it doesn't look like that now um, again I think it's something in this that might be breaking my face out I might not be able to wear it I think it's cute though I think it's cute I did not powder my face and we are looking cohesive you know how I feel about cohesiveness you know how I feel about cohesiveness and it's giving me all cohesiveness. The concealer underneath my eye, which is the Emu Beauty Concealer, I think it's really cute. I really like it. I also like the fact that it was um, able to work with something else because you know sometimes that didn't work. Um, I will say that Hydro Grip was not working with that Emu Beauty. You saw how it was lifting up in places. It's like right here and right here so I had to take that off and then start all over again so I did not put anything on my face at all so this was just bare skin it was dry skin and this is how it looks um, I did have to set my under eye because I am a creepy mess so I did set my eye with the Fenty Beauty um, under eye powder in the color honey I was going to get um, Juvia's Place one, um, but they didn't have the color that I wanted. But yeah, this is cute, Divas and Divos. The look, the look, the look is cute. 
um, again, like right in here, it feels irritated and I feel, you know how you, I don't feel it on my face. I won't say that. I don't feel it on my face, but in here, I feel like I'm going to have, um, a breakout in here and look at that line right there. And again, this has only been about two hour, two hours the most. Oh, that felt good to take that. Oh, cause it, it just, yeah. I might have to, um, I might have to take it back. I might have to take it back cause I don't like wearing stuff that's gonna make my skin break out. I feel like my skin is not agreeing with it. It's cute. I think this is something that I could wear for the summer. Okay. I think this is something that I could wear for the summer. That's when my, my oils are a little bit more productive. Um, maybe I need to oil my face or something. Moisturize my face. Oil my face. Maybe I need to moisturize my face. So, yeah. Like, in here, it just... So, that's what I think on this... It, it's 20 bucks. It's giving me, <laughs> it's giving me almost Fenty Beauty vibes because it is glass in 20 bucks. So I don't have that other one that they came out with to compare it to. I was going to use that one. I don't know. I just, like here, it just, um, the Emma Beauty, I know y'all probably have already had it, but I didn't get it. I felt that it was just a bit too much for me to pay for but Ulta had a sale so I bought it I also bought the Nottingham oh sorry the Night Hill um, carnival highlighter but that came up in bits and pieces um, they gave me credit for it because apparently it's out of stock so <sighs> let me know if you want to buy this foundation let me know how how you feel about this foundation let me know if you got the concealer as well okay so yeah divas divas thanks for watching rating subscribing all that good chat that makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside peace and peace